Welcome to MicroStation Connect Edition. We're going to look at why you'd want to move to MicroStation Connect Edition. We're going to take a look at property-driven everything inside MicroStation Connect Edition. Now, um, <clears throat> there are a lot of engineering graphics that we produce when we produce our drawings. Many of these graphics have properties associated with them, especially if these graphics come from vertical applications like our civil engineering or plant or building products. <clears throat> So these properties may be attached through those products, or you could attach properties through MicroStation. And you can do that by using some new tools, such as item sets. But you can do property-driven annotation, property-driven display styles, and property-driven reports and tables. So let's see how this all works out in MicroStation for us. So let's first take a look at a couple of new things. We have a new command called place label. And this is driven by a cell that is harvesting properties. So when we touch something, um, we'll be able to get those properties. So here I have a tree, shrub, and ground label. And as I zoom in on some trees here and I select a tree, you'll notice that it automatically understands uh, the serial number, the, the tree name, and its uh, scientific name. So it labels it automatically for us. And it depends on you know whichever particular tree we pick. We're going to get something else here. Well, these are all about the same here. So let's take a look at this one here. There's an oleander. So you can see that the property-driven annotation allows us to pick out a very specific property of these objects. So if I actually went and took a look at the uh, object properties here, you'll notice that <clears throat> they have a variety of uh, properties that are in regards to tree planting. So here's the item number, there's the actual common plant name, and the, um, the scientific name. So um, those are embedded into the cell and then harvested by this particular cell, the label cell. So there's your property-driven annotation. In addition to property-driven annotation, we also have property-driven display styles. And property-driven display styles are based off of our traditional display styles. So here we go, here's our display styles. So we can create new display styles and add something new called display rules. And these will control the display of graphics on the screen based on their properties. So um, this is very similar to using a pen table at plot time. It allows you to re-symbolize things, but here you can re them on the fly or on the screen. So if I select the display rule called shrubs, you'll notice it'll take everything else and sort of make them gray shaded. So it'll fade them to the background so that the shrubs stand out. So um, here's one for irrigation. It's showing me the areas that need to be irrigated. Um, and then you can go on here. Here's one that says uh, these are the areas that require a small lawnmower. So uh, you can go ahead and control the display of uh, live graphics and reference graphics on the screen very easily using display styles that are driven by properties. So in addition to just display styles, and um, <clears throat> we have more stuff that we can do here. So for example, here we have our property driven tables. And this is a table that is actually uh, generated by a report. So looking very quickly at a report, you can see that under our <clears throat> analysis tab, we have access to reports. And here's a tank ID. Here are the columns that we're reporting on. So ID, height, diameter, volume, and material. So um, <clears throat> I could come in here and add a column or remove a column. So for example, if I did not want to know what the, um, the material is, I can simply come over here and remove material and hit the X here. Now, because these are all property driven and, and right press and refresh from data source, and that will get rid of the material column for me. Um, and I can adjust all the rest of this here, get rid of this column if I want to using my table tools. <clears throat> so you can see there are a lot of commands that allow you to use the properties built into the graphics to manage your workflow here. So once again, if I select an item here, um, you'll see that under its properties, there are all of these tank properties that show up in our report.